Uh, I'm into a lot of different things. I'm into, like, I like, I like discussing things. I like religion. Uh, I, here's the thing, though. My problem with religion, every religion thinks that, you know, they're right and everybody else is wrong. And uh, it's true. Like, 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 the Jewish people believe that they're God's chosen people. And, and then, then the Christians showed up and they were like, oh, no. <laughs> We've got the golden ticket. And uh, as soon as Jesus dies, we're going to break into small groups and start judging one another. And the Muslims were like, screw it, we'll just blow ourselves up. Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, religion makes me laugh. Like, like terrorists, they kind of crack me up, like Al-Qaeda. Uh, it just makes me laugh about Al-Qaeda. Like, every time uh, they do anything uh, on the, in the Middle East, like the news shows their training tape that they have. And uh, this is my question. Why are the monkey bars the cornerstone for Al-Qaeda training? <laughs> We've seen the tape, right? Like... It starts out with like a bunch of guys with AK-47s just blasting away, and then they'll cut to like two guys chucking hand grenades, and there's two guys just doing the monkey bars. <laughs> these are Islamic extremists, right? Like, we're supposed to be scared of these guys? How do they explain that? I imagine there's like an Al-Qaeda coach who comes out on the first day, and he's like, hey, you new fellas. He speaks English. <laughs> new fellas, why don't you gather around, take a knee, Welcome to Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Let me give you a quick tour of the facilities before we get started today. Over there is a shooting range. Over there are the caves you'll be sleeping in. And this bad mother behind me is a little something we like to call the monkey bars. In order to become a terrorist, you've got to cross from one side to the other without stopping. It's not easy. Not easy. Now over here is a teeter-totter. <laughs> And that is a tire swing. How did we get into a fight with guys who are experts at recess? I don't know. It makes me mad. Where do they get in shape? Don't they blow themselves up? It just seemed to me that the, you know, the fatter you are, the more damage you could do. It's my way of thinking. 